the, the Obama administration, you know, giving Congress the 28 or you said 29 pages uh, of now declassified documents on the investigation into any sort of, you know, ties between Saudi Arabia in, and the 9-11 uh, hijackers. Have you had a chance to, to go through this? I have, Brooke. They, they came out. They were posted less than, than an hour ago. M myself and my colleagues, we've been reading through them. Uh, I'd been speaking to, to people who'd read them before they were declassified, so I had some sense of what is inside. And I'm just going to give you a sample of this. We're going to be having more uh, complete reporting coming out. But here are some quotes. This is the first line, in fact, of these previously declassified, rather, 29 pages. Uh, it said the following. While in the U.S., some of the 9-11 hijackers were in contact with and received support from individuals who may be connected to the Saudi government. That is a headline that we knew about what the pages do is that they add some detail to that, including financial tra transactions that were suspicious, showing ties, including financial support from members of the Saudi government that made its way to the hijackers. Whether that means uh, they knew what the hijackers were planning or supported what they were planning, uh, the report does not say so. It says this information is early, but there is a lot there to delve through. I want to give one more addition uh, from this. This from this report saying, quote, prior to 9-11, the FBI apparently did not focus investigative resources on Saudi nationals in the U.S., I continue to quote here, due to Saudi Arabia's status as an American ally. This just gets back to this pre-9-11 mentality that the U.S. had, one, about terror threats, but two, in particular, about Saudi Arabia. Uh, of course, 15 of the 19 hijackers came from Saudi Arabia. And that relates to where you are now, Brooke, because I will often hear from counter-terror officials that it was only recently that European counter-terror agencies uh, came to the urgency necessary to see the terror threat in terms of sharing intelligence within countries and between countries uh, in terms of their security footing, et cetera. And of course, the attack you've seen there raising that alert in France once again.